So in this video, we're going to be looking at the iCarsoft VAWS or VAWS version 1.0 tool, which is a multi-system diagnostic scan tool for VW, Audi, Seat and Skoda vehicles. And we're really going to be looking at the top 21 questions or everything that you need to know before buying this tool. So let's get into the vehicle and start the review. Okay, so I guess the first question you could ask is what is the VAWS or VAWS version 1.0? This tool is uh, basically a handheld diagnostic scan tool which will allow you to hook up to the vehicle systems, the electronic systems in your vehicle to diagnose any fault, to reset any faults and basically to check the health of the car. So if your car's not running properly or you're getting a, a warning message on your dashboard Board, uh, for a certain system this tool will hook up to that system and tell you what the fault is um, so it's a really handy tool to have for anybody who's looking to maybe look after their own car save a bit of money instead of taking it to the garage and all around making sure that your car is in good condition so where can you buy this tool this tool is available I'm gonna put the links in the description below this video it's available I would say two places are the best first one is diagnostic world second place is Amazon now what you're gonna find is the links below you're gonna be linked to genuine products because there are unfortunately fake and clone products on the market so you do need to be aware of that but the links that we put in the description below this video you will guarantee a genuine product so uh, please bear that in mind now how much is the tool this tool right now is retailing at Diagnostic World for £99 I think if you went to Amazon it's probably going to be about £110 I think um, so you know factor that in if you if you do prefer Amazon uh, then you're probably going to pay a little bit more but you know £99 are free you UK delivery for the Boars version 1.0. So how is the tool powered? It has a power cable going into the top of the tool itself. So not only does it provide power, but it provides you the connections into the vehicle, but ultimately it takes its power from the actual vehicle's battery. It doesn't have anywhere on here where you can put your own battery in um, to use it all, uh, sort of with, outside of the vehicle. You can plug a USB cable in right there and that will allow you to turn the screen on and navigate through the menus when it's connected to a computer but you can't um, sort of use it on any other circumstance other than in the vehicle to connect to a vehicle um, what manufacturers are covered well we'll have a quick look at that um, basically on the diagnostic menu here we've got VW, Audi, Seat and Skoda so those are the manufacturers. Now what systems does it cover? That all really depends on the vehicle itself. So you know, you may have a vehicle from 2001 which doesn't cover very many systems or you may have a vehicle from 2015 which has a lot more electrical systems installed into the car so you'll find that that will cover more systems. But in summary, I mean let me just use this car that we're in right now as an example. This is a VW Polo. Uh, so we're going to go system selection, manual selection, that's giving us a choice of 137 systems. That doesn't necessarily mean it will connect to 137 systems, it means there's 137 systems in the list and the, the systems that this car is installed with will connect to. Uh, so we'll, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the, uh, the screens here and show you which systems it does cover. Uh, I'll go through quite fast so if you do want to pause it then feel free. Obviously there's a lot of systems on here, uh, too many for me to actually talk about in great detail, but at least you'll get an idea of which systems the tool does cover. So if you do have a fault in any of these systems, then you know the tool will be good for your needs. I'm just using the down button here, if you're wondering which button I'm pressing. So we're nearly there, a few more pages, as you can see it has a quite a vast uh, list of coverage. Right, okay, so those are the systems. Uh, what special functions or service functions does the tool have? Well, if we go back to the main screen, we'll see it only has one special function or service function, the oil service reset. I have made a video on this tool resetting the oil service on this exact vehicle so uh, it's worth checking out the other videos on the channel uh, but ultimately 
This is where you diagnose things, this is where you do your special functions. On this tool, you only get the oil service reset. I'll come on to how you can get more uh, special functions here in a moment, but it does require upgrading to the next step up in tools. Uh, as I say, I'll come to that in a moment. Uh, what information does it give when you get a fault code or when a fault occurs? So we're going to use this car as an example. We've got a check engine light and an, a an airbag light here. Uh, so we're going to go to diagnostics, we'll go back into our vehicle. We're going to select the system. So we're going to manually select the system which we wish to diagnose. And I'm going to go and find the airbag module first of all. There it is, number 15 in the list. Initializing, please wait. So, depending on the vehicle, sometimes it can take, it can connect straight away, sometimes it might take a few, you know, like 20, 20 seconds or so. So if I click on read fault code, this is the type of information you'll get. So we've got a B100B1B, um, we've got driver thorax airbag igniter resistance too high. Uh, the reason we got that is we simply unplugged uh, a connection underneath the driver's seat uh, to create this fault if you like. So that's just an example of what you'll get. Um, if you're not exactly sure what this means then by all means put this information into a Google search engine. You can guarantee that if you're getting it somebody else will have had the fault at some point. The answers will all be there on what you need to do, what sensor or a bit of wiring you need to replace. That's that and guarantee that's what it'll be. Um, so if we go back click on to read fault, uh, sorry, clear fault memory and we'll get rid of this airbag here. So let's say for example you've fixed the fault, you've put a new sensor in somewhere or whatever it's telling you and now we're at a point where we can click on clear fault memory and once we click OK, just keep an eye on the airbag light. And there we go. That's gone off and we have Arrays Operation done on screen here. So that's for the airbag system. The engine system is going to be the pretty much the same process. We'll go up to that. Engine control module. Now sometimes in VW, Audi, seats and Skodas, it can take a little bit longer to connect to the engine module. Not entirely sure why that is, but it does appear to be a thing, so um, we'll just hang fire here until it actually connects to the engine system. Here we go. So click on read fault code. And again, we've got one fault code, unique fault code, with a description. And then you see here it says one of two, so we'll just scroll along. And that's two of two. So it's giving us, it's actually triggered two faults. But generally the first fault you see is the, is the one that's triggered the rest. Um, and again, let's say we just clear fault memory. Click OK. Keep an eye on the check engine light. And there we go. That's gone off. Erase operation done. Okay, so that's the type of information you'll get when a fault occurs. Is it a touchscreen system? The answer is no to that. It can be, uh, so it can look like a touchscreen, but it's not. You do need to use these buttons to navigate your way through the menu. How much are the updates? This goes back to what I was saying at the start of the video. If you get a genuine product, the updates will be free for life guaranteed. If you were to get a tool which wasn't genuine, um, then you know these are scammers, these are con artists, and they are trying to get as much money out of you as possible. So they will charge you for an update. Uh, so you know, bear that in mind over the long term. You might get a cheaper tool to start with. It might not work properly, but you won't get any free updates. With this tool, you'll get free updates for life. And again, the links are in below. Um, how to update it? Well, you do need to download software onto your computer. Uh, the instructions are all included in the Quick Start user manual that you will get with the tool. So don't worry about that. It's a very easy process. Uh, you do need a Windows operating system though. You can't download the software and update the tool on a Mac or Apple um, unit. So just bear that in mind. To be honest though, you know, if, you, if the tool works fine on your vehicle, there'll be no need to actually even run an update if you don't want to. Uh, this should work straight from the box. So how does it compare to the Vos version 2.0 kit? Well, let me show you this kit here. So obviously this is the one, this is the two. It looks a bit different. We've got a, obviously we've got a, um, a vertical kind of system here. We've got a horizontal system here. So you would hold it like that. Um, the difference between these two kits. So this kit is more expensive. This is about 149 pounds and I'll be doing a very similar style video for this tool here, so have a look at that on the channel if you think this might be better suited to your needs. But ultimately, you see this option here where it says oil reset. 
Well, in this tool you'll get a lot more options. You'll get electronic parking brake, diesel particulate filter, steering angle sensor, uh, new battery registration, uh, electronic throttle calibration, a um, couple of others. You may get injector coding and you may get uh, ABS brake bleeding as well. It all really depends on the vehicle, but ultimately that's what you get extra. You know, the diagnostic side of things is exactly the same. You pay extra with this tool to get more special functions or service functions. And again, I'm gonna do a video on this video, exactly the same as this video, so check out that. Um, where can you get help and support? Well, go through your, whoever you bought it from, basically. Uh, if you buy it from Amazon, that's one thing I would say about Amazon, you probably won't get any help and support. You'll, they'll probably just, if you report a problem to them, They'll probably just say, oh, well, return it for a refund. That's all we can do. If you go through Diagnostic World, then you are more likely to get a, a detailed response from an iCarsoft engineer. Uh, they have quick links to iCarsoft engineers who will come back to you and deal with you directly and give you help and support where necessary. Can you print? Um, you can. It's not an easy way of doing things, though. There's quite a, a detailed process. It records. It means you've got to record data on here. Take the SD card out, put it into your computer, and then uh, download the information from the card and print it out that way. It's not a user effective way to do it. Can be done, but it's not easy. Uh, languages on this tool, if we go to the setup option, should give you a list of languages. So we've got English, German, Dutch, French, and Spanish. And what about the box that comes in and the instructions? Well, this is the box for this tool, so that's the version 1.0. And if I show you quickly what's inside, so you get your carry pouch just like this, which is quite handy. Whoops, quick start user manual, uh, which just gives basic information. And then you've got in here, you've got your uh, main cable and a USB cable, which hooks up to your computer as well. Uh, so that's what's inside the box when you receive it. Uh, is it easy to use? Absolutely 100% easy to use. As you can see, you can't damage the kit, you can't damage the vehicle when you've got this hooked up. Um, it's all very, it's almost like child friendly if you like. Um, so it doesn't really matter whether you've got no experience, you've never used one of these tools before in your life you'll still get to be able to use this tool with good effect. As I say, it doesn't matter whether you've got you know, 40 years worth of experience or two minutes worth of experience. You'll still get the same results from the tool and you'll still understand how to use it as well. Um, you also get live data with it as well, so you can view live data from the engines, the ABS, uh, whatever you need to do. So would I recommend it to anybody with no experience? As I say, yes, absolutely 100%. Uh, what about the other menu icons? Well, it's a uh, good, good shout. We'll go to the voltage option and this just gives you the minimums and the maximums and the current uh, battery data. So it, it gives you an idea of how healthy your battery is. Uh, we go to oh, OBD2 and EOBD. If you've got Say for example, this tool is, is suited for van cars. If you've got like, uh, I don't know, maybe a BMW in your house, then you can use this tool as well. You can use this option here, but it only it only da allows you to connect to uh, the engine system. So you'll only get engine faults on any other vehicle with this little option here. Uh, DTC lookup, let's say you wanted to check the meaning or the description for a particular fault code. Well, you just click that in, click the fault code in, and then it gives you the actual description there. Uh, review any data you've recorded on the tool. Set up uh, language, unit of measure, a uh, little beep when you press the button if you want, uh, the data log, clear data, and factory reset. Uh, help just gives you basic information about these three topics. And about gives you the actual uh, software and firmware information. Uh, does it double up as a tablet is a, a question we get from time to time. No, this tool is purely only to be used as a diagnostic tool. And how fast is delivery? Well, delivery normally takes one or two working days. Um, it, it's generally the same with uh, Diagnostic World and Amazon. Uh, one or two working days, but you know, if you please, please wait an extra day if that doesn't come within that time frame because you know sometimes 
the mail services may be running a little bit slower. Uh, but that's it. I hope you've uh, taken something from this video. If you are looking to maybe buy this tool, um, I hope it's answered a few questions. If you don't have, if you do have any further questions, then by all means, Diagnostic World are the guys who will answer that uh, as quick as possible. And uh, I'll put links in the description below this video to where you can buy it on Amazon and Diagnostic World as well. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I hope you found this useful.